calling out liars with this Utah-born technology. It takes more mental effort to tell a lie. Works, what it's used for, and see if Fox 13's John Franke can stump it. Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Fox 13 News at 9. If the eyes are the window to the soul, can they also reveal whether you're being honest? Technology developed right here in Utah uses the eyes to test whether someone is telling the truth or if they're lying. Fox 13's John Franke put this new age lie detector to the test. He joins us tonight to explain how it could be a game changer in criminal investigations. John. Well, guys, it's called eye detect. The science was researched at the University of Utah. Now a Lehigh company is using that innovation to create a lie detector. This tech may seem futuristic, but Hollywood may have seen it coming decades ago. Fluctuation of the pupil, involuntary dilation of the iris. Maybe real life can imitate art. The 1982 sci-fi hit Blade Runner used eye detection as an investigative tool. Now that technology is no longer a fantasy. We are 86 to 90 percent accurate. The Utah-based company Converis. If they're telling the truth, then then we we see uh, no difference between how the eyes react. Developed the technology called Eye Detect to weed out a liar. Eye Detect has an eye tracker that captures all of these changes at 60 times per second. A camera you can't even see focuses on a subject's eyes. It takes more mental effort to tell a lie than to tell the truth. That camera catches things not even the best liars can control. When there's this exertion of additional mental effort, um, the eyes change. How do they change? They dilate up to a tenth of a millimeter. Eye detect test results are still finding their place in police investigations and the court system across the country. The Idaho Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force used the tests in a sting of sex offenders. They would test them on whether or not they had had any sexual contact with a minor. To get some suspects to admit to more crimes. And of course, the majority of these people failed. Todd Nicholson, the company's CEO, adds in 2018, a judge in New Mexico was the first to allow a test result to be admitted into evidence. I'm very confident in the result. Brett Magleby is licensed to administer eye detect in Utah. I'm a skeptic by nature because I'm a law enforcement officer. Now in the private sector, he gives the test to people accused of a crime. Eye detect gives us attorneys an opportunity to really introduce some additional evidence about their clients. Let's have you sit down. We wanted to put eye detect to the test. In this case, you're going to deliberately lie about having written down a number. Without anyone except our camera watching. You write it down without us seeing. So this is completely blind. I was asked to pick a number between two and nine. And to be honest on all the phrases that are presented to you, except for the phrase that deals with that number you just wrote down. Or effectively, you're going to deny having written a number. For several minutes... I did not write the number three. True. Okay? It's kind of nervous. The computer grills me. I did not pick three as the number that I wrote. Asking question after question about numbers. Eight was not the number that I picked. And I lie. I picked the number seven today. When the computer asked if I chose the number seven. Two is the number that I chose. After nearly 10 minutes, the test is over. You can see that's you. I'm not cheating. This report reveals my fate. We believe the number was seven. Eye detect caught me in a lie. Your eyes dilated when you lied on the number seven. This chart shows how my eyes reacted when I was telling the truth versus when I was lying. Here's the number seven. Your pupils were 3.4 millimeters. The next closest was six at 2.99 millimeters. The difference between a lie and the truth is small, but those hundredths of a millimeter... A yeah, little bit. And, and that's, that's uncontrollable. No. I mean, you can't feel it. You can't control it. You don't even know what's happening. All it takes to read your mind. It's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. Shall we continue? 
An interesting wow. note, Blade Runner is actually set in November of 2019. Uh, that's 30 no kidding. Exactly. Wow. Uh, how do you like that? But they've built now 5,000 specific tests. They can test, you know, if somebody is a sex offender, if they've stolen anything. Tests like that. And here in Utah, it's used by people mostly accused of a crime. They're trying to tell investigators, hey, it wasn't me. So they take this test. If it says they are telling the truth, they can present that to an investigator and try to avoid charges. Wow. John, has this been used in any prominent cases that they could reveal? You know, in Utah, right here, right now, it's not admissible uh, in court because of the state laws here. But you both have kids. Wouldn't sure. you love it to, to ask your kids, hey, did uh, <laughs> you don't need it for did some of homework? them. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it for some of them. I've got the mom look. Yeah. I don't yeah. need that test. Yeah. <laughs> but these tests cost about 60 to $300 each test, so it's a pretty inexpensive way to see if someone's lying. Let me ask you real quickly before we let you go. There was very little margin between the truth and a lie. Explain how they're able to tell in that small margin. They ask you a baseline test. So they, they with all those questions, they build up that baseline so your eyes uh, have that number of where they are when you're telling the truth. And they ask you some questions like, you know, is Africa south of the equator? Certain mm -hmm. questions like that that are pretty obvious that you're, you're not going to lie on. Um, and it builds that baseline so when you are lying, that little difference... Wow. Makes all the difference. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Um, and beautiful baby blues, John. <laughs> yeah. Notice that. Way to go on that. <laughs> Does not lie. <laughs> Thank you so much. John, Such thanks. an interesting story. Thanks, and guys. based right here in Utah. Right here in Utah, just down Utah County. Thanks. Thanks so much. Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Live at 430. <laughs> If the eyes are the window to the soul, can they also reveal whether you're being honest? Technology developed here in Utah uses the eyes to test whether someone is telling the truth or lying. Mm, Fox 13's John Franke put this new age lie detector to the test. Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Fox 13's Good Day Utah. Fine by me. If the eyes are the window to the soul, can they also reveal whether or not you're being honest? Technology developed right here in Utah uses the eyes to test whether someone's telling the truth or lying. Fox 13's John Franke put this new age lie detector to the test. It's called eye detect, and the science for it was developed trying to find that extra piece of evidence that just might prove their innocence. In the studio, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah. Fascinating. My, my <laughs> eyes are always dilated. I know, mine are too. But they really are. <laughs> You're always lying. What is that? You mean? are you a never liar. The truth. That means I'm always telling the truth. They never always change. Always lying to all of us. So yeah. am I. Do my pupils just change so. a little bit? <laughs> it takes one to no one, Allie. What are you talking about? I'll be curious to know if that ends up being like used in court and how that information. Well, that's what they're talking well, about. Well, right now, yeah, cases, that, yeah. So mm -hmm. if it ends up being like a common thing. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, It'll so be common in my house. Where were you last night? Oh, get in the lie detector. <laughs> Where's eye detect? Look at me with your eyes, your pupils. Hey, so you would think that maybe seeing a surprise performance from Drake would make a crowd happy, but then we ran a lie detector test. <laughs> Just kidding. Look at this.